<laughs> was that not a funny one? Yo, it was. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I'm losing him. Am I losing you? <laughs> Hi. Hello, everybody, and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Whoa. Are you oh. coming at me? Are you coming at me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, my son? Why are you so handsome? He's so sweet. He is. Did you have a nice nap this morning, babe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you have a nice nap this morning, babe? Did you have a nice nap? <laughs> Did you have a nice nap? Okay, smile if you think your mama is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Why are you so sweet? Why? Why are you so sweet? Mm -hmm. Come here. Oh. Um, you need to sit down and get in on this. Okay. Because people have missed you. I know. Mm. Oh. Do you want to take him? Yeah. Because maybe, here, maybe but... you can make him laugh a little bit. Oh. I yeah. Don't I don't know. Mommy's not funny. Mama's not funny. Yes, you are. You are. I think he's getting hungry. Oh, Carrie, no. We just got the camera out. Are you getting hungry? Oh, are you? Yeah. He's so sweet. He is. Yes. He's such a doll. You're such a doll, bud. You're such a doll. So this morning, Tiffany and I took turns taking naps, and then whoever was um, napping, or whoever was not napping, was holding him. <laughs> Tiffany. Wakes up at about 1.30 and she's like, Carrie, are you going to work today? Because I had planned on going to work. And I said, no. And she said, oh, why not? Because it's 1.30. What? It's 1.30. What? Uh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. She couldn't believe she slept that long. I didn't know we were napping that long off and on. Yeah. Like, I thought it was like a couple minutes here and there. No. I had no clue. Hours. That's what I meant, like, because I remember we got up at 8 o'clock, or 7.30, he was hungry again. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I'm going to hurry up and take a shower, and then I'll go on the couch, and I'll take him, because we've realized we can do this, like, lay down position with him, and he'll lay on us, and we can just sit there and be comfortable. Oh. Yeah. Time to go. Well, maybe, maybe he just wants to suck on something. That, that I don't really like the way that you said that. That doesn't provide milk. Huh. I just washed that off, so it's good. There. So anyway, we came out to the living room, which seemed to be a little bit easier. I had no idea how much time had passed, though. Yeah. You got a good napping. Well, so did you. I looked over no. and you were cutting some logs over there. <laughs> I know. I know I was. Is it cutting or sawing? They say sawing, I believe. They say sawing? Sawing. Um, so, yes. you need to tell them how much we laughed last night about the names for Harrison's little corner over there. We laughed forever. It's That was such a creative idea. Yes. Harrison's Corner Cafe. <clears throat> and then at one point, I, I'll, I'll show you once Carrie goes over there. Oh, I actually can't. But I said something like, and this vlog is sponsored by Harrison's Corner Cafe, located in beautiful downtown Birch Run, Michigan. Please come visit. Ding. Yeah. You did. Well, we're, we didn't use that footage. We didn't. We didn't use any of the footage. No. So, yeah, in case you were wondering, the footage that you saw for today was a video that I made like a week and a half ago that I never got around right. to. Because he said in the video he's three and a half weeks old. Yeah. He's actually five weeks old today. Right. You are five weeks old. He's five weeks today. Oh, you it are is Thursday. Five weeks old. I know. I keep it. I the days are getting away from me. I'm still getting confused by the five weeks and one month thing and all that. Okay. Because technically, I I get it. Technically, it, he was one month on the twelfth. Yeah. Oh, and I don't even know what today's date is. I have no idea. The fifteenth. No clue. 
Oh, is today the 15th? Because today was the day that we were supposed to hit the 25,000 for the black mask. Yeah. Charcoal mask. Mm -hmm. It's the 15th. Oh, I don't buddy. think that we hit that. Oh, buddy. It's not really a fair thing to use that probably right now because the summer is so slow. Yeah. So we'll figure that out. Well, we should probably get him feeding. Yeah, probably needs a diapy change too. Yeah, diapy. Okay, this is either gonna be the most brilliant thing I do today or the silliest waste of time thing I do. Now that I think about it, I think I've wasted time all day today doing stuff. I mean, it's like seven o'clock at night, eight o'clock. I was sick in between in there. I'll get back to that. But anyway, let's just rewind. Let's go to this. So. We got Applebee's takeout for dinner today because Carrie had practice and like I said, I was feeling sick so I wasn't able to cook anything. Pretty upset because I was really planning on making some ribs in the old Instapot today. Hopefully that will happen tomorrow or at least by the next day now. But anyway, I got a 32 ounce cherry Pepsi. Carrie and I usually get when we split it. They always end up getting us on it because they're like, do you want to add on a soda for 99 cents? Well, no, not really. Oh, okay. Do you get anything if we do? Oh, we get an upsell. So, of course, I love cherry Pepsi. I love fountain drinks. And I love giving people an upsell. So, but when I got it today, Carrie and I drank it pretty quickly. So, we had one more cherry Pepsi in the fridge just in a can. So, I said, let's pour it in there. We poured it in there and there was some ice in there. But it took up most of the container. Now, I know there's like this big debate... You get a 32 ounce glass, but they fill it with ice all the way, so how much are you really actually getting? So, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fill it with a 12 ounce can of water because I don't, I already had soda for today, so I'm not gonna drink anymore. I wanna actually see if this can even fit two of these. So, if this is a 32 ounce glass, this is a 12 ounce. If it fits two of these, it's 24 ounces. If there's room left over, I don't know what we're gonna do then because I don't really have anything. I guess I could get out like the measuring cup, but that seems like an awful lot of work. So, without ice, <clears throat> it seems like it might be 32 ounces. So we'll see. I'm a little bit nervous because it seems that I might be wrong here with this little science experiment. And I'm sure somebody else has done this before. I could have just Googled it or looked it up. So let's see. All right. Looks like I wasn't wrong. That's two 24 ounce can, or two 12 ounce cans of wild cherry water. And it literally has almost filled it. There is no way that I could fit any more in there. This cup is not a 32 ounce cup. Carrie, it's not. It's not. It's almost to the brim. I mean, look at this. Do you see where that is? I'm showing them on camera. Holy crap. I am... I am bum puzzled. I was right. What the heck are we paying for? This is not a 32 ounce cup. Applebee's, what the heck, man? I, you know, I shouldn't even be worrying about this and I know that people are gonna comment like, oh, we shouldn't be drinking soda anyway. All right, well, let's say I got a 32 ounce cup of unsweetened tea this isn't 32 ounces and when you put ice in it I'm willing to bet that if I had filled this up with the ice from Applebee's it probably was one can so it was literally like 12 ounces of soda that I paid 99 cents for I will tell you the cups kind of nice but I can't believe this I, wow okay well there you have it okay you weren't out there but it came, there was like this much from the top. Really? Yeah, you'll see it tomorrow for the footage. Actually, I left the cup out there, so if you went out, you could see it. Okay. Did you guys have a good nap? Yeah?
I know that you do. You got to talk a little bit louder though because the air is on. So I want to make sure that everyone hears you. Sorry. It's okay. Just to, I turned it off. Yeah. So it'll go off in a second. Um, but Carrie fell asleep a little bit. She, she was a very late sleeper and I was right here too. And Harrison was kind of on her. She didn't move at all. I had to look over a couple times and make sure you were still breathing. Mm -hmm. Like Harrison was fine, but like anytime he like moved, your hand went like right up. Like you were on guard. Did it? Yeah. I mean, obviously we're not going to start sleeping with him right now. He's too little. Right. We're not uh, completely against it though. I will be honest with everyone, mm -hmm. but we'll, you know, see what happens in the future. I'm sure he'll end up sleeping in our bed when he gets older. Kids do it. Right, right, but he's gonna have to fight the three cats and. Right, it's not gonna be like until he's much older. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to get some of those pajamas in case he has some accidents. What is that again? This guy created pajamas. It's P E E J A M A S. It's like this material that's super absorbent. So if your child does crawl into bed with you or does, you know, go to sleep without a diaper when or, they're older? yeah, they're, I mean, not super old, like 10 or 11. I mean, even though it does happen, but I'm sure it's marketed for kids who are around like maybe four and five or something like that. PJs. Yeah. There's like a little video that you can watch with it. I think it's pretty neat. Say goodbye to... Expensive and wasteful nighttime diapers and hello to pajamas. Right, so the idea is it's kind of like cloth pajamas that you can wash again. Yeah. You know, instead of like using the pull-ups. Because those pull-ups are super duper expensive. I think they make some for me. Just kidding. Yeah, they do. They're called Depends. I wore those after labor and delivery. I know. I know you did. They work. They're much better than the hospital mesh underwear. How did those not itch you? I touched those in the bathroom, those mesh underwear, uh -huh. and I was itching. Like, they were really scratchy. Um, at that point, like, that's the least of your worries. Oh, okay. You know, when everything hurts and is swollen and you're trying to pee. <laughs> and you can't. <laughs> they want to cath you. <sighs> you know, I, I went back and listened to that vlog that we did. I don't know if it accurately, like, represented your pain and anguish. Probably not. Because, like, people were... I it off, but I was, I was a mess. Like, it was bad. You were crying. You were, like... I honestly thought they might have had to, like, hold you down to cath you. They would have had to and i don't think that they like the people like our campers mm -hmm. or people who like watched the vlog who just came across it i don't think they really got that from that story but they might not have yeah it was an awful time in my life right but you know i was in pain i was exhausted on top of it so of course i'm gonna react a little more outrageously yeah it's okay i mean a lot of people keep asking us about having more kids and it always comes back to like that catheter conversation like i think that you're still really scared oh yeah let me um let me heal my body from this this person mm -hmm. first. some people say that you're gonna forget about how that felt and I'm thinking, I'm not sure if she actually is. I kind of feel like I have forgotten a little bit. But I remember, like, how I reacted. Oh, uh, okay. You know. Like, okay. I might have forgotten the, like, the exact pain that I was feeling. But mm -hmm. I remember my reaction to it. Right. Like... It was awful. I love you. I love you. So, to clear up something, pajamas, if you were looking into that, they're actually only pre-order right now. Uh, Carrie was just looking it up again. And when I watched it, I didn't finish watching the rest of it, like, through the how do you go and order, because we're not even there yet. You know, like, we're, we still have some time. Um, so I didn't even see that it was just a pre-order thing. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so, mama, mommy, mommy. I always say mama though when I talk about myself. I got kind of sick today, and I'm not sure if it was something I ate or something I didn't eat. But if you guys remember from the first part of the vlog, we got up this morning at, I got up at like, what, 7.30, I think he got up. And so like there was that big rush to like hurry up and like for me to shower. And then I would take him so Carrie could shower kind of early. And I didn't end up eating the first time until like 1.30. Probably closer to 2. Yeah, somewhere in there. So I don't know if it was like this lack of not eating or maybe just eating... I don't think I ate fast or anything, but it really wiped me out. Like, wiped me out to where I was really kind of, I don't want to use the word like out of it, but the last thing that I was going to be doing was doing any kind of vlogging. Were you in a food coma? No, because I didn't even eat that much. Oh. I didn't feel good either after I ate today. But what did you have? I had a big bowl of cereal. And there's nothing wrong with the milk, because I actually went and checked that. No, there's nothing wrong with the milk. I just ate too much. Okay. And it gave me a bellyache. Did you have, like, a giant bowl? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, because I was starving. What kind of cereal do you have? Raisin bran crunch. I wondered where that was going. So, <laughs> we love Honey Bunches of Oats with almonds and Raisin Bran Crunch. And Carrie hasn't been at work lately. She usually orders the cereal aisle. Which is kismet, because that's my favorite thing to eat, and that's Carrie's aisle at the store. So she didn't have any honey bunches of oats with almonds, so she brought home Raisin Bran Crunch, because, you know, it's kind of, sort of, near the same thing, but not really at all. What? <laughs> She's on her phone again, so she didn't even hear me. I was comparing Raisin Bran Crunch to honey bunches of oats, kind oh. of, sort of the same thing, but not really. Kind of. I think the... Flakes are different. Well, obviously the cereals are. I was just being funny about it. So anyway, um, of course the raisins. I ate the cereal today, and I was like, man, I thought Carrie brought home something else for her to eat. Why? Where's all the cereal at? I'm so glad I asked her because I was like, I've been watching my cereal intake so that way. Because before, I'm not gonna lie to you, I used to pour giant bowls of cereal, and then I realized one bowl of cereal that I was eating was almost three servings. Because I don't know what it is in America here. It could happen in other countries too. But bowls are huge. Like a a decent like a bowl that you buy, just a regular bowl. I can't believe it holds three servings of cereal. Oh, if not more. It, I guess it could hold more. I leave room for milk. But I'm going to have to get a bowl that's like an actual cereal bowl that only holds... One serving. One serving of cereal, so I, got, I can get used I to eating the that. Bowls we use for deck would hold a serving. Are you serious? Those tiny little bowls? Mm -hmm. We have these bowls that you see them all the time at like Mexican restaurants. They they kind of look like a half of a cauldron. Yeah. Like a little cauldron. It's like a a bowl and it has like three things to set it on. Legs. Three legs. Bowl legs. What is that what they're called? Bowl legs. Bowl legs. Anyway, Carrie thinks that that would hold. So we'll see tomorrow. Maybe I'll go experiment in the kitchen again. I'm talking about the green and orange one, not the black one. I know. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Actually, isn't... I know the the black one. I know what you're talking... I Yeah. Didn't we have, like, a big black one, too, though? I don't remember. They get beat up pretty quickly, too. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they're, like, these really hard Five. plastic, but they have this, like, weird... I don't know, like, if you scrape them a lot, it seems like some of the stuff on the outside starts to peel. It's it's really weird. Yeah. You didn't notice that? No. Yeah, like when we make the Velveeta. Do you guys know what like the Velveeta dip is? It's where you put Velveeta in a crock pot and you put a uh, Rotel dip. Mm -hmm. um, we usually throw burger in ours too. Taco meat. Ta yes, taco meat, not just burger. Yeah, not just um, a plain old burger. But when we eat that, you know, it, it congeals pretty quickly because it's, you know, 90% cheese. But when you scrape the bowl, the cheese gets really, like, hard. And so you're, like, scraping a lot harder. But I notice, like, sometimes it'll scrape, like, the side of the bowl. So I don't know if it's just the way the bowl's manufactured. I don't know. No, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta go pay attention to that now. Yeah. So you were gone, and I was reading to him. Yes. So in case you guys missed it, it was on Instagram. I'm gonna... I think that I have that on my video, my phone. It okay. should automatically save. 
So I'm going to insert that right now and we'll talk about it in a second. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. We like this book, don't we, Harrison? It's a good book. You want Mama to keep reading? Huh? Yeah? You just like looking at the pictures? Well, all right, I guess we'll get back to reading. One of our favorite things to do in the afternoon, right, buddy? He's so cute. What books are you guys reading to your littles right now? Let us know in the comments down below. So what'd you think? I loved it. Mm -hmm. I cried because I missed it. He looked so into that book. So I ended up being able to read him like half of the book before he got hungry. Mm -hmm. But what I would do is I would turn the page very carefully and I would just read what was on the page and I would remember it. But I would put the book back to where he could see it. Oh. And he was looking at the pages. I could tell. Like, he was into the book. Yeah. And he looked at both sides. Like, if I took my finger above the book... Whoops, sorry, guys. If I took my finger and, like, pointed at one side, oh. he would, like, turn. Right. yeah. And then I'd go over here and he'd look at the other side of the page. I mean, it was pretty neat. A smart little boy. Yeah. Coupled with almost getting him to laugh today... I'm telling you, man, it has been a really good day for him. He's making some leaps. So uh, a lot of people had suggested tons of different books for us, uh -huh. which we have quite a, a few. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to get some books about disabilities. Still, oh, yeah. we don't have that many, but I want to get some. I want to get a lot of multicultural books, too. You had some good ones on, uh, on a list, on an Amazon list. I have an Amazon list. I, it's private, though. Um, I gotta find yeah. it so you can see it. I'm not. I'm not saying that you should open it up or anything. I'm just saying. Right. I remember seeing that you had some saved. I don't know if anybody wants to see it. They can. I can show it to them. But I just didn't want to like share it mm -hmm. because I was afraid that people would think that I was saying, "Please buy these books," because every once in a while you get that, and it's really hard to like. Mm -hmm. It's hard to come back from that because I always feel. That's not the case, right. and I know it's one person, and I know people are going to say, don't think that, blah, you know, but, like, it still hurts. Right. You know, like, I watched this video recently. Um, I know I've been talking about Jeffree Star quite a bit lately, but I don't, I think maybe because I watched the series with Shane, so, like, I've been watching yeah. him a lot again. Yeah. Not that I really ever stopped, but I just, he, I just, you know... But anyway, he was talking about how this one comment, just this one, you know, it stews with you. It does. Yeah. But anyway, though, we do have some of those books. But I still want to get, like, books about other countries, too. Oh, yeah. Like, s people do ask us if there's anything we need. There's nothing that we need. But I love, I think someone sent us a book. Someone just sent us a rocket science for babies. Yes, I love that. But somebody sent us an email saying they were going to send us a book that was, like, all about China or something. And I was like, yes. And maybe it's just taken a really long time to get here, which I'm sure it does because overseas shipping takes forever. shipping takes forever. But I absolutely love the idea of, like, reading to him. I want to get him a globe so he can, like, see where all the countries are so we can, like, talk to him about it. Yeah. I mean... We need to teach diversity, and it needs to start at the home. Uh -huh. And if you have friends come over, the friends can sit around too, and like, maybe they won't want to exactly look at the globe, but it'll be there, and they'll be like, right. "Oh, hey, what's this exactly? What's that?" Mm -hmm. I remember glancing at a globe when I was a kid, and I'm just seeing all these different places and being like, "I want to go there one day," but not knowing anything about it. Right. My grandma had a globe. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. It was in, like, her study area, which wasn't really a study. It was just, like, this extra room that had a bunch of books in it, and, like, they were stacked on the floor. That's probably why mm -hmm. I ended up wanting to go into higher education, because I was constantly, like, reading all these books that were way above my yeah. reading level. Mm -hmm. There was alcohol in it the whole time. What? Yeah, you, like, opened up the top, and there were, like, bottles of alcohol in it. 
Oh. It turned out it was my grandpa's from like a long time ago because he died in like 1977. Uh -huh. And no one knew. Wow. So I'm like nine years old or whatever. I open, I'm, I notice, maybe I was younger, I don't know. There's, like a, little There's a little crack in it. And I opened the globe up and I was like, what? Yeah. You probably were so little that you told somebody, right? Oh, heck yeah, I did. So I'm sure that my, my uncles were probably really mad because like they must have known it was in there because the alcohol was not full or anything like that. Mm. Could you imagine now like knowing what we know though about that, how potent that alcohol probably was? Oh yeah. If he died in 77 and I was nine or so at the time. Sure it was still good. Um, yeah, it was good and probably like very fermented. Well, alcohol, I, some alcohols do, like, and it was a brown, so it could have been like scotch or like a whiskey. Yeah. So I, I doubt it was like a, right. <laughs> anyway, I just, I think it would be really cool to like introduce Harrison to different parts of the country while he's little. Yeah. And introduce him to different stuff. I still want to get him some dolls too. Like, I would love to get him, like, that Barbie collection with all the different Barbies. Like... Which Barbie collection? There's about a million of them. Well, there's one that had, like, Mulan, and it had, um... You mean the Disney Barbie? The Disney Barbie ones. It had Mulan. I love Disney. Well, right, but the, the point is they're all multicultural ones. Gotcha. So, like, I think there was one with Merida, and I think, um... What is I'm the sure, princess's name from... I'm sure Tiana. Tiana, there. and then the... Oh gosh, what is it? from Aladdin? What's her name? Jasmine. Jasmine. So like lots of different mm -hmm. color, different features. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be really neat to introduce him to that when he's little instead of waiting till he goes to school and he's like, Mom, somebody at school is different than I am. Right. You know, and he'll know all about it right away, so he won't make a big deal out of it. But do kids even really notice that kind of stuff? I think kids notice differences. They don't notice, like, making fun of them, you know, or right. pointing it out. Right. You know, and, like, when kids point it out, they're like, hey, where's your arm? Right. You know, they're not like, oh, ha, ha, you're missing an arm. You know, they're just, like, curious, like, where'd your arm go? Right. You know, and it, it should kind of be okay to ask. The like, kids are just curious. But if we can give him a, a leg up, I don't see why we shouldn't. Makes sense. Yeah. Thanks for explaining yourself. You are welcome. I love you. I love Gosh, him. I love you so much today. I love him too. <laughs> oh, you tell me why. I can't believe you right now. Why? Because normally I have no problem being the male character, <laughs> but they're both males. Okay. So why can't I be the other one? You can be Mike Wazowski. I can't believe you're gonna have me be Sully. I wasn't. I was gonna have you be Mike Wazowski. You were not. You looked over at me and said you're no. Sully. Well, I'm taller, so I should be Sully. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you right now. Why? You know why. Am I zooming in or out? You're zooming out. Okay. All right, so here's the, here's the sitch. We love Halloween. You guys know that. We love Halloween. We spend constant time talking about it. And we keep changing our ideas for Halloween costumes. Somebody said the other day, I think it was at Laura. She yeah, said she, that someone said that, yeah. If we don't make him Indiana Jones, that's a real big missed opportunity there. Yeah. Which it is. And that's a great idea. Wouldn't it be great, like, for him to be Indiana Jones when he's a little older? It really would be. You're right. I think that would be really cool because we could find him a little satchel or, like, we could make it. Right. You know, and we could find him a little hat and mm -hmm. that would be a really cool outfit. Yeah. But who would we be, like, if he was Indiana Jones? Um, I want to be... What's her name? Is it is it Jessica Capshaw or is that the, her daughter? Jessica Capshaw. The, so you'd be Kate. Kate. Kate Capshaw. is the in her red dress. And the, the you're gonna be the red dress. Yes. 
Well, then who am I? Anything goes. <sighs> I don't know who I would be. Mm, you could be Andy's father. Why do I always have to be the male characters? <laughs> <laughs> We're just me we're just messing with each other, you guys, by the way. I think he would look cute as so many other ones. We have a really, really good one, if you remember from a vlog like a week and a half ago. Inkling was a good one, too. It, it is, but that one that we're not saying out loud right now, that is a really good one. It is. Because he's a baby. Yeah. And it's Halloween. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. But I do realize that we probably should take some time and think about this. Right. And, but not too much time because it's going to jump. Pretty soon it's going to be Halloween. Right. I know. Yeah. And you, if you were going to be Mike Wazowski, that would be an easy, that would be an easy costume. Green t-shirt. Green pants? I need to be round. I can't just wear a green t-shirt and green pants. I need to have something round on what with is, a giant eyeball. Put an eyeball on you? Oh, I see. Because I'm already round. No, that's not what I was saying. Oh, honey. I love you. It's time to go now. I, I'm not talking to you for two days. You know that's not what I meant. I know. I would totally be Mike Wazowski. You could be Sully if you wanted to. I'm going to be Rex, because technically Rex was in... He was in the outtakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it a night. Um, But before we go, before we go... I hope you're going to bring that camera over here so we can close it together. I wasn't going to. Will you? Yep, I will because I love you so much today. I, love you. I just I really love you today. Yeah, because now I gotta hold this thing and my arms are weak. Well they're not, they're strong. Yeah, no, they're weak. Okay, so Friday Night Live. Yes. Carrie has you're fine. Okay. Carrie has volleyball. Doesn't get done until about five o'clock. Correct. Why don't you hold no? This is it's fine. So Carrie has volleyball. She doesn't get done until five o'clock. Um, when she gets home, we usually try to eat. Harrison's usually hungry in there. Mm -hmm. So as of tomorrow, we should be okay to do it. But if her practice runs late, because normally they won't practice on Fridays, this is probably the only Friday until school starts. Oh, uh, will so you? For the next couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. So, and we won't be able to do Friday Night Lives all through. This is like a summer thing that we do. So, because when I have class, it'll be a lot different and I'll have my work and stuff. So, we're thinking that it's going to be a go. Um, if it is, we're going to be doing the cool coins. Now, I know that you guys made some comments down below about it, about like defacing like money and stuff like that. But, I'm willing to bet that since this person has a shop that they have gone through all those hoops because you have to remember like in Disneyland and Frankenmuth at Cedar Point you, you can put a penny to get a penny crush. Yeah, you can crush a penny, you can do all that kind of stuff. You can crush quarters. And let's be honest, who has never put a coin on a railroad track before? To see what happens. I, I definitely have done that. So have I. Yeah. So but anyway though, um just keep in mind though that for business for things like that, um I'm I'm not complaining about this, but if it's something that you're not comfortable with, don't watch the video, don't share it, you're okay. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. But I think these things are really cool, and I think a lot of people would really enjoy these. We have some for us that have an astronaut on them, mm -hmm. the John Glenn quarters. Oh, so yeah. So this person went through some stuff, yeah. you know, to get, and I am, I am grateful. So um, as of right now, everything should be a go for it. We will uh, let you guys know throughout the day if anything is going to change, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. We good? Anything else? So. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> 